being able to monetize the lounge concept is a huge challenge. And the main reason is because under California state law, we can't sell any non-cannabis items. So we can't sell food or coffee from our business, uh, which takes away a huge potential source of revenue. Um, And hopefully that's something that will change in the near future. So for us, for instance, we built our location out to look like a restaurant to have table service, but all of the food is being sold by a neighborhood restaurant. So we're not actually making money off of the food sales. So we're relying on cannabis sales and other events that we do that are ticketed events as a form of revenue. And we are also connected to our retail store. So we have a retail store on the first floor of the building and then the lounge on the second and third stories. Um, So we allow people that purchase things downstairs to bring them up in the lounge or else someone can come up directly to the lounge and purchase table side. Um, But, but, you know, we're learning here because we've noticed that the spends on cannabis products in the lounge are very low because people will just buy one or two items or one eighth to share with friends. And then it's like, how can we make money off of this person that's sitting here for an hour and a half and bought a pre-roll or even, you know, a pack of pre-rolls and there's four of them. Um, So we have been doing things like painting art classes where we can charge an entry fee or yoga classes. Um, and really with the hope of also the lounge just overall boosting the retail sales in the downstairs retail area. Um, but it's definitely a challenge because of state law. And so this is something that hopefully will change in the near future.